So uh, it's five weeks today that I start the Road to Rockstock, which if you didn't know, is me cycling 1,000 and something miles. It's, uh, it's about 1,060 miles in uh, just over six and a half days uh, from the centre of London through uh, Nottingham, uh, Sheffield, Leeds, Newcastle, Edinburgh, Glasgow, uh, Manchester, Liverpool, uh, Birmingham, and then to South Wales. Uh, I'm riding overnight on two of the nights, the first on the last one, and then I'm averaging about 15 hours cycling a day uh, in, in the last week of November and the first couple of days of December. And I'm doing it to raise uh, funds and awareness for the, uh, the campaign against Living Miserably, which is a, um, a charity which helps men under the age of 45 who are battling depression and dealing with suicidal thoughts and that kind of thing. And I started training. Um, sorry, I've just finished training and yeah, you're always uh, at your uh, <coughs> most exhausted and probably most emotional after a, a really heavy workout like that. And I've been going now about three weeks. And I, I think today is the first real day it's kind of hit me or, or started thinking about what I'm undertaking and what I've got to do physically to achieve this is is like nothing I've ever done before, ever. I've done a lot of stuff before. I've raced in, in Europe. I, I've raced in intense conditions, but I've never had to go for so long and had such a sort of time span to to think about it, to have to work through, potential to, to mess it up. And as I was just training then, I was thinking that there are so many people that know what I'm going to do and they see and read what I'm going to do. And then on November the 25th, they'll, they'll see me set off. But what I'm going through now is just, you know, trying to to get myself there into a... I'm not an athlete. I'm not even into get fit. I don't even really like cycling, if I'm completely honest. People think I'm fanatical about it. I love it. I don't. It's a challenge. But I'm not an athlete. I don't have much time. I'm trying to be a parent. I have a job and a home life which are 200 miles apart. I don't have a great deal of time. I'm trying to train, I'm trying to fit everything in. It's, you know, it's after 10 p.m. on a Friday night and I'm training and and it's and it's hard. I'm not I'm not looking for sympathy here. I'm just saying that it, it, it's because of all these factors I realized I'm in serious trouble here. <laughs> I've got a lot to 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 get ready for and and I'm in good shape. My condition is good. But I, I guess I'm nervous now, dare I say I'm a little scared, which is an emotion that you just don't associate with me at all. And I think as I was sort of training just now, I think I'm starting to feel self-conscious because no matter how fit and in shape I am come November the 25th, I'm gonna suffer badly no matter how hard I prepare. And the thing that's making me self-conscious is you're all gonna see it. I'm going to be out there for everyone to see. There'll be videos, there'll be photos. People will be able to see me and, and people are going to know what a state I'm in. And for so many people to see that, it's kind of an overwhelming thought. You know, some of the injuries and, and the things I'm going to go through, I'm going to get swollen knees, ankles probably, numbness. I don't know if my knee's going to hold out or I've, I've not tested my knee since that near 18 month injury last year and, and the start of this year and there's just so many things and of course then I'm worried I'm going to let people down or something's going to go wrong and I'm not being pessimistic here I'm really not but there are so many variables and, and it's such a intense tough thing to do especially for someone who like I say is not an athlete isn't into get fit doesn't go to the gym doesn't work it's, sorry that's my heart rate monitor beeping away that's not my self-destruct button about to go off. Um, so yeah, I'm nervous and I want this to go well. I want to help as many people as possible because I know 
I know what this charity means to a lot of people and what it means to me. And it's trying to help people who are on the brink of giving up. So the person representing them can't give up. I just can't. I have to go through my own personal hell. So maybe other people can go through a less personal hell. But the the symbolism is not lost on me that I can't and, and, and won't give up. I'm just nervous and worried about what I'm going to go through. You know, we've raised nearly £4,000. Hopefully, within the next seven weeks, we'll get that to £40,000. Or, and at the very least, we'll spread the word about the charity and get awareness out there because it's as much about letting people know there is a service out there for them and people aren't alone as it is raising funds so they can keep providing that service. Ideally, we can do both. Uh, you can see the links and stuff and, and see what I'm doing. Uh, on the pages, on the various websites, and um, I'll keep suffering in training and get myself in the best possible shape I can for Friday, November the 25th, and uh, you can see my progress online and on the way and the tracker and everything, and if you could spread the word, even if you can't donate anything, that'd be fantastic, and if you can donate a few pence, that'd be amazing as well, and if you can donate a few pence and spread the word, my God. There's a place in heaven for you. So I'm going to go shower and dry off and reflect on another seriously tough training session. Happy weekend.